Hey there, YouTubers! Yo, what up, boomers? Dr. Sheep here. Welcome back to the vlog. Um, it's currently Sunday morning. Now, originally, we want, people wanted me to do a one-day vlog, a day in the life of a college student. However, my days can be really boring, and other days I'm just too busy to vlog, or I'm in places where I'd rather not vlog. So, the best way to do it is this. Um, I do need to remind myself that it's Sunday, so that when I go and edit, everything works right. Um, so what's the plan for the day? Well, I have a meeting with a business owner who's also in the film production business. After that, I have Thanksgiving, and then after that, I'm going out with Outback to eat the infamous, the infamous Popeye's chicken sandwich, because it's back. As I said, next vlog, well, it was going to be a pure flu vlog, but now it's not. It's going to be a regular vlog. So, let's get started. All right, well, now I'm uh, waiting in my truck for it to warm up as I'm getting ready to leave for this interview. Um, so yesterday I just did podcast 22 that was with Fro and the water bottle and I think that podcast will do quite nicely actually I only say that because their podcast last time was the most uh, was the most viewed uh, the latest podcast, actually, Podcast 21, might, might catch it. Uh, hard to say, though, this early on. Oh, but hold on, I guess I can't, can't back out with one hand, it just doesn't work. <clears throat> Anyways, yeah, I, I, so I think it'll surpass it, but it's also, uh, I think it'll surpass I, I don't know. Was, I think the latest podcast is uh, podcast fifteen, but I I don't know about the one I recorded with the latest one I recorded with Phil. I would not Phil with uh, Fro and the water bottle. It's the longest one yet. I think it blew out podcast. Uh, is that eighteen or nineteen? I'm not a hundred percent sure, just because I have to cut a bunch of stuff. But it's. It's long, which you've already seen it. This 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 vlog isn't coming out until like December, anyways. So yeah, that's yeah. Not, I don't really have much to. I just wanted to talk about that. I, I'm changing up the podcast setup, and uh, the next podcast, the one after that one, the one you've probably already seen, uh, is different and I'm also I'm starting to keep the footage I have to still as of right now convince Phil to keep the footage and because I just modern podcasts the ones on YouTube they, 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 they keep the footage they that's what they do and I just think that's just you know it allows us to do a lot more things and I also just want to like keep expanding the podcast more and more because it does well uh, not gonna lie the last few podcasts have done really well and I think they'll continue to do well um <clears throat> yeah not much else left to say so uh catch you guys probably at the dinner I don't think I need to vlog any other bits unless something interesting happens. Well, it's still Sunday. I'm currently on my way home from Thanksgiving, which was nice. My uncle, as always, gave me crap. And this time it was about YouTube. So I'm pretty sure everybody knows I make YouTube videos now. That's great. Do any of them watch? No. How does that feel? I don't know. I do know one thing, though. One of these days, this is all gonna be like, well, remember, remember this time? And I'm like, yeah, I remember that time. Now, I don't know where I was going with that. I kind of lost track. Too many pronouns. That happens. 
Never play the pronoun game, ladies and gentlemen. Never play it. Am I driving with one hand? Yes. Do I care? No. Uh, okay, so now I'm on my way home. I'm going to text out back, and we're going to go to, uh, well, it's 3.30. We're going to go to Popeye's. Popeye's chicken. I've actually, I don't think I've ever actually been to Popeye's, but you know what? I want to talk about it now. We'll talk about it later. Uh, for now, I'm going to go home and write an essay. So, bye! Okay, boomers, we're back. Uh, I have out back with me here. Honestly, I don't know if you can see us. It's going to be the time we were worm hunting. You have to, like, ramp up the exposure. <laughs> and then you can just, like, barely see us. It won't be quite that bad. Little baby husky. That's nice. Anyways, what are you are, are you gonna eat with? Are you gonna eat some of the pop No, parts? I'll probably eat when I get back. What you gotta try this with me? It's a chicken. Yeah, but it's like the best chicken sandwich on the face of the planet. So it's probably about as good as like I don't know, typical chicken nugget. This man, this man is a disgrace. I don't, he's un-American. I, okay, I don't wanna, all right. I need to like put myself in like a sh some shoes where it's like, I'm not, I'm unbiased. And that I will judge the chicken sandwich fairly and that my uh, feelings towards Chick-fil-A do not intervene. What are my fins for Chick Fil A? You'll find out later. Bye. All right, so we're at the uh, drive-through of Popeyes, and it's long, and there's even like there's two cars behind us. Maybe a third one here soon. Nope, no, no, just just two, two cars behind us, and there's like three or four cars in front of us. I oh, know, wait, that one guy's a delivery guy. Never mind. There's still a car behind us, and there's like three or four cars in front of us. This is this is unreal. I know what the greatest part is? It's dead on the inside of Popeyes. Dead. But anyways, so it's time for a Popeyes taste test. Now, before I begin, I need to talk about how you do a proper taste test, right? Now, Outback over here was saying that, like, you need to test, like, the more of, uh, like, okay. So I went to Steak and Shake one time, right? And I need to compare it to what we had back here because we didn't have any Steak and Shakes until, like, a few years ago. And so I need to compare it. So I had a vanilla shake, chicken strips of chicken nuggets, whatever the heck they had, and french fries. All of which were was par or subpar. And I'm like, McDonald's makes better uh, milkshakes. Although out back here says McDonald's does make pretty dang good milkshakes. So, and then I was like, oh, why did you you should have tried this flavor. And I'm like, you can't. Because if you try some obscure flavor, you're not getting the same effect. So when I get this Popeye's chicken sandwich, it's just going to be a plain chicken sandwich. I'll put some ketchup on it, and that's it. All right? That's it. Think, look, I think, look, it even says, I'm back over there. Chicken sandwich. It's back. All right, check it back in here with the when I have my sandwich. What a disappointment. I tell you what. So apparently they're out of chicken sandwiches until 6.30. It's 6.08. I had never seen such disgrace. Like, they have signs that tell you like, hey, uh, we're out of chicken sandwiches until later this evening. But they don't define what later this evening means. You know, Popeyes, you need to tell us that. Honestly, this kind of treatment's gonna influence. I don't know where I'm going. Oh boy, I'm lost. All right. This kind of treatment's gonna influence my rating. Oh boy, it says no trespassing where I am. Oh gosh, we're gonna get we're gonna get arrested. <laughs> well, if it like said like no outlet. Oh my gosh, pothole here. Dude, this place is like abandoned as all get out. Can I get a chicken sandwich? So yeah, now I'm just like trying to figure out what to do for the next 20 minutes. 
All right, uh, catch back up with you guys later. All right, you would not believe the hell we went through to get these. Like, oh my gosh. So we went there the first time, right? And what happened? Nothing. They sent us packing. Came back a second time. Again, they sent us packing. Came back a third time. This time they actually served me. But they just forgot my order. They just, they just never showed up. All right, like, how does that happen? How? All right. I'm shaking because I'm waiting for like three months for this thing. Then they got it right, Outback. They got it right. Absolutely nothing, which is what I wanted. And pet ketchup packets, but. All right, so we can prep this baby. But anyways, here's the problem. See, you got the chicken doesn't fit on the, the bun perfectly. It sticks out. Which is fine, whatever, but it's just a pain in the butt. Anyways, okay. That should be enough ketchup. Two packets is quite a bit. As my manager described to me, uh, the bun is definitely soggy. Maybe I should have gotten spicy out back. There's no flavor. None. It, it's breading. There's no chicken either. Can you see that? There's like no chicken. It's mostly breading. Sounds pretty crunchy. But that's all it is. And here's all the chicken. That's better. So, Popeyes. <laughs> okay. So, inconsistencies. So you have a big thick end and it tapers off, which is what you should expect from, like, you know, a normal breast. But, in a sandwich, that doesn't work. <laughs> it just doesn't work. It's a chicken sandwich. Like, I mean, I'm just expecting now like, everybody says Popeyes is the best right now. A lot of people said that. I'm expecting Chick-fil-A's to just be trash. But, I guess we'll find out. If I were to review the whole Popeyes experience, well, first off, they lost my order. Like, I watched it disappear off the order screen, and I was just like, okay, whatever. They got it right. I was surprised. Aren't you surprised? For waiting an hour and a half, I was surprised. No, not an hour and a half, but a half hour. I was surprised. And once I went up there, I was like, hey, what happened to my order? We got it relatively fast. Just had to wait. We got it. I, I'm not going to lie. It, it's a letdown. Um, the, school, the school chicken patties are better. Not like the like, not like the patties that are like a perfect circle and they're like, and they're ground up chicken. No, no, I'm talking about the ones that are like actual breasts, which we've had that were breaded. They're better, period. 
and Popeyes. I don't drink soda, but your soda selection sucks. Also, you don't just have like ketchup on tap. Like, what? What is this? Like, you serve chicken. Chicken you eat with ketchup. <sighs> For my first time going to Popeyes, I was let down. My first time going to Chick Fil A, they don't have. They have a lot of room. There's a lot of room to improve. A lot of room. So, maybe we'll have to try a McDonald's one of these days. <laughs> All right. See you guys Tuesday. Good morning, boomers. What's up? Just uh, getting ready for school here. Can't show uh, Rondo's room because he claims it's too dirty. It is. It's not. See, it's fine. Perfectly fine. Anyways, um, oh boy, you're really close to me. I don't know. All right, so I gotta show you this. This is some, this is some bowl crap going on out here. All right. And no, I'm not wearing a beanie. I'm just wearing my freaking stocking cap because I'm cold. And this is why I'm cold. It snowed. I just, I don't get it. We went from the warmest day, like it's 60s, Saturday, and now here we are, Monday morning, and it snowed. I don't get it. I literally don't get it. Anyways. Suppose I need to get going. Big bummer. So I just took, uh, so I just took, had econ. And then did the econ assignment that's due tomorrow. Got a hundred on it after three attempts, which is the max of attempts. Could have gotten it after two, but I screwed up. I misclicked a choice. But um, yeah, I I actually knew what I was doing all of it. And the one that I missed the first time was strictly because I had written the formula down wrong when we learned it in class. And so. It. Anyway, so that's not the only econ I wanted to talk about, though. It was not just that class. I also, my dad, we were at uh, Thanksgiving yesterday. He went back and got a second helping. And he's like, why is this second helping just not seem as good as the first? And I said, uh, that's your marginal propinquity to consume. Wrong, 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 wrong. I asked my econ professor. And he's like, no, 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 it's your diminishing marginal, is your diminishing marginal return. Yeah, it's diminishing marginal returns. Uh, diminishing marginal utility? No, it's diminishing marginal returns. Whatever. It, it, diminishing marginal utility or diminishing marginal returns. Oh, one of the two. I think it's diminishing marginal return. Oh, well, either way, that's what it is. And the, basically the concept is, and I think I talked about it in my uh, uh, the my Keycon video about the economics of YouTube and how, uh, gosh darn it, my laptop bag's gonna fall on the floor. I'd rather not have it do that. So the idea, the idea is that every single time you consume something, the next time you consume it, it'll be less satisfying. So say you have a bag of chips. That first chip is really good. The second chip, still pretty good, but not as great. And then my dad asked me, so what about something that, like, like uh, Cheesy Puffs? Every single one you eat seems to be better than the last one. You want to keep eating more. Well, actually, it still fits within the diminishing marginal returns because you just, the, the, the curve just curves over. So the curve looks, uh, it, the curve just goes straight up longer than other ones. And what about drugs? Well, drugs do tend to break the boundaries because the first one's like, wow, a nice high. But then you just keep having more to have the same effect, usually. And so they break the model because you're wanting to consume more than before. But addiction's a whole different thing. Now, I'm going to get gas because I'm, like, on E. And then I'm going to go sit on the other campus and 
get to work on my essay. Another thing I guess I want to say before I sign off here. Android, so music on Android sucks but period. End of that statement. Like, all the services are all streaming ones, which means you have to consume your data. Well, of my roommates, I'm the only person who doesn't have unlimited data. And of them, the only person who doesn't have Spotify Premium. So I'm like, how am I going to get data? Uh, how am I going to get music? Well, you could probably use iTunes to just download music. The problem with that is that... How do I, how do I put this? The problem with that is that iTunes does not work very well on Windows or Android. And I say that for Windows because my idea would be to download the music to an SD card and then put the SD card in my phone because my uh, phone can take micro SD cards. So I came up with a workaround. Uh, I'm not going to say what it is. Eh, screw it. I'll say it anyways. Who cares? Download videos, which you can do on YouTube. Download videos, remove the video footage, and just keep the audio. Is it illegal? Sure, but I mean, YouTube gives you the op Actually, you can't download uh, copyright stuff, but there's workarounds. Is it illegal? Probably. Did we count tell me it's illegal? No. So as far as I'm aware, it's not illegal. Well, of course, ignorance to the law is not a defense. Keep that, kid. Don't forget that, kids. Anyways, bye. Good morning, boomers. Dr. Sheep here. It's Tuesday morning. Um, I was supposed to do the Chick-fil-A taste test yesterday, but I was going to just use the, uh, the union, the union, yeah, the union at school use Chick-fil-A, but then I thought, where the heck am I supposed to record that, and I'm going to record out in the open, that's not fun at all, people give you weird looks, I need to get over that, and just be like, yeah, I'm a YouTuber, I need to accept that fact, but uh, I still have problems with that, so today, I have a meeting, so, so today I'm going to eat breakfast, uh, Get the podcast off of this GoPro, edit it, uh, go up Friday, uh, go to a meeting at noon, oh, go to class and go to work, why, why was I forgetting that? Yeah, I don't know how much I'll check in with you guys today, I'm not checking in with you barely at all, so, see ya, see ya. What's up, boomers, it's Wednesday. No, it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. What am I saying? It's Tuesday evening. Um, I'm on my way to work. And after work, I'm going to Walmart. Because I have things to pick up. I honestly don't remember what I all needed. So, this will be interesting. Good morning, boomers. It's Wednesday. You know, I feel like uh, this vlog this week, or this time, a little on the weak side. But, uh... I mean, all I do is sit and work all day. I guess I should have taken you guys to be to Walmart yesterday, but, uh... Eh, kind of forgot. Anyways. Um... I don't know. I'm at lost for words here. Ow, son of a gun. Also, if anybody knows, I'm trying to do the research on it, but... So I've got some music files. Just some audio files. They're all mp3. And I got them in a file. But I want to be able to play them like a playlist in, in the Groove Music Player, or whatever the heck it's called. But, uh... I don't know how to do that. I don't know if it's even possible. Because right now, you open up a song, it plays the song, but then you have to close the Groove Music Player, open up the next song, and then wait for it to finish and open up the next one, and that's 
kind of pointless. Now, now this will all be pointless once I finish uh, getting all the songs I want to listen to. But once that's done, I won't even need to worry about it. But in the meantime, somebody knows, let me know. How are you? Doing, you know, as good as I can do. What's as good as you can do? I got OK to start today, let's put it that way. Uh, You're uh, 50 something, you'll be fine. Yeah. Now, uh, we're going over the test today. Why am I going to class? <laughs> well, then, if you don't care about going to class, then can we run? I need to stop at the Casey's and air up one of my tires a little bit. I was still planning to go to class. Oh. Uh -huh. What a loser. Alright, I guess I'll just go to Casey's later. Alright, I don't know. Check out with you guys later, and this is crooked as hell, so. So I'm here with Phil. We're about to try the, uh, the Chick fil uh, chicken sandwich here. Okay, sure, thanks. But I want them to see the sandwich. Well, then hold it up. No, okay, I'm gonna back down. Alright, so. But they have to see your face, facial reaction. Well, I'll move it up to my. I'm getting really disappointed. <laughs> Is there a problem? <laughs> That's why I get the deluxe. <laughs> you get lettuce, tomatoes. I actually get cheese. Alright. These sandwiches are tiny. I don't know what people were thinking. The Popeye's cheese sandwich. <coughs> There's trash. This is like... <laughs> this is way better. Mm -hmm. Now, it's not very big. Neither was the Popeye's one. I like spicy even better. Wait, have you had the Popeye's chicken sandwich? Mm -mm. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't try it after this. Like, the Popeye's chicken sandwich was crispier, but it just wasn't good in general. This, this is so much better. You heard it here first. Chick fil A is better. The, well, maybe not the fries, or maybe not the Baron. Because they are just plain old waffle fries. Not the Cajun ones. But the chicken's better. The, the service was faster. Have you had the Cane's chicken sandwich? No. Maybe that'll be the next thing. I don't like Cane's though. Mm -hmm. Cane's chicken fingers are bad. I, they, they can, they can know it. Cane's is bad. Period. The only thing good about Cane's is the bread. The only good. You don't the, care about the sauce. Well, I don't eat the Cane sauce. Again, you can't go to a restaurant and like try their signature thing. That's just not how that works. What? Something that somewhere else doesn't have. And they'll say though, no. Chick Fil A's lemonade. It's a little sour, but honestly, it's better. I think Cane's is just an expensive version of Chick Fil A, and worse. Wait, how much do you spend? Less than ten dollars. That's about what Cane's is. Every time I go to Cane's, I end up spending more than ten dollars. I don't understand how. Did you get the Caniac? No. I got like a four piece chicken, two bread, and fries. Mm. It's always ten dollars. Alright, folks. Maybe I'll do that at the end of this week. Go to Kane's and try the, their chicken sandwich. But for right now, this, this is so much better. What up, boomers? Um, it's. Thursday morning. 
I'm making eggs. I've actually already done quite a bit this morning. So, uh, I had a dentist appointment at 8.30. Not an actual dentist appointment, though. Yeah, I don't know if I've mentioned this. So, to future me, who's editing this, if I've already mentioned what's wrong with my jaw, cut the next part out. If you're watching this, then I haven't mentioned it. Um, so the past three weeks, I've been experiencing some pain, and um, I went in, and he's like, oh, just floss. I did that. That didn't work. So I was like, well, were you taking anti-inflammatories during that? I'm like, no. He's like, well, floss and take the anti-inflammatories. That didn't work. So now, I went in today, and he's like, yeah, I don't know what's wrong with you. So he's going to send me to my oral surgeon, who took my wisdom teeth out. He says it's not related to that in the slightest, just because of where it is. So he doesn't know what the problem is. And I'm going to go there. But now, he has me even on more uh, meds. Gotta take two ibuprofen, four hours later, take two extra strength Tylenol, two hours later, two ibuprofen, alternate like that. And I'm like, geez, doc, that's a, that's a lot. But anyways, so, I guess I'm just waiting on the phone call today, or if they don't call within a week, I gotta call them. Great. Yeah, and so now I'm on this, I'm gonna feel this extra strength Tylenol, and I'm like, okay, that's nice. So, exciting time. Exciting time. Um, so, yeah, I already went to the dentist. Went to Walmart. I wish... I really wish... I'd been able to... Uh, I really wish I would... Thought to bring you guys along, but... Oh, well. Learn some and lose... Uh, learn some and lose... Whatever, whatever the saying is. Anyways. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I gotta figure out something to do for the rest of these vlogs this week. Your voice is cracking. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'll figure out something else. Out. So I'll figure it out. Don't worry. What up, gamers? Um, I'm beginning to realize that I uh, am not recording vlogs. Well, I am, but I'm forgetting what I'm doing. No. Let me rephrase this. I'm forgetting to record vlogs. I haven't forgotten yet, but it is Friday afternoon, not even the morning. I just completely spaced off the morning vlog and yeah, so I'll have work at whatever time work is, 2, 2, two to 9. Yeah, I uh, I don't know, this week kind of fell apart, this whole vlog kind of fell apart. Uh, I hope, it's still going to be long, but I don't think it's going to be as long as like the last few. Also, another thought. Um, I'm probably already going to mention this on the next podcast before uh, this vlog even comes out. But, so the H3 podcast splits the uh, their videos, the, the, the podcast up. So you have the channel that uploads just the podcast. And you have the H3 podcast highlights. My question is, what if I manage to make more content because I take the podcast and I break it down into more parts. That way, people don't have to watch the whole podcast. Obviously, as a small channel, it probably doesn't really matter and we don't get a lot of views in the podcast anyways, so it might just take away from the views we'd be getting on the podcast or the podcast views won't change, but those views might be just low and be low performing videos. However, it could lead to more watch time, period. Which is a good thing, period. So, I I don't know. I don't know what... What do you guys think? Should I take the podcast, upload it, but then that next week, following the podcast, I break the podcast down into constituent parts. You know, highlights from the podcast. Obviously, that week's already uh, full of content. Uh, not that I really think about it, because not only do you have the sociology, the the, the, psycho, the philosophy video, now you have the podcast highlights, the normal video, and that. <laughs> what does that mean in terms of whatever? I don't know. 
But should I? I, I want to know from you guys. Should I split it up? Let me know. Anyways, uh, I gotta just get ready for work, so, uh, catch you guys in a bit. But let me know in the comments, please. I beg you, please. The one thing you gotta comment on this is that. Okay, well, you know what? This vlog actually is turning into something interesting. So, um, you guys know me for a bit of a tech addict, and today I picked up the Galaxy Buds. Now, Linus Tech Tips review of these are, eh, you know, so-so, you know, they're, they're okay. So, the reason why I'm buying these, and I was... I've always been the guy who's like, I'm going to stay wired as long as possible. I even said I was going to experiment with wired when I get the music thing done. Eh, I changed my mind. I decided while I was at Walmart today, I'd pick them up. I think that's the box, the uh, instruction manual in there, but uh, he doesn't want to come out, so eh, whatever. Anyways, right, so these are the Samsung Galaxy Buds. Uh, first generation. I almost should just waited for the second gen to come out. Oh boy. I thought these came in like a little thing and they were organized, but it looks like they just make a mess. Fantastic. So yeah, they wirelessly to charge. They also USB-C. They charge by USB-C. Uh, nothing else in the box. Um, the box felt kind of dense, actually, even though these are actually kind of light. Oh. What the? Samsung, I know you're putting, like, permanent, uh, adhesive inside your phones and the batteries, but that was ridiculous. Now there's, like, a little piece of tape here. What's going on here? Oh, my phone going off. Now I wonder, do these have any charge on them at all? It honestly doesn't seem like they do. So, I guess I'm going to charge these. Um, I have a wireless charger downstairs. And, uh, we'll give them a whirl, I guess. Good morning, boomers. It's Saturday morning, final day of the vlog. Rooster and I are about to watch The Mandalorian. I don't know. I called you Rooster. You're Rondo. I'm stupid. But yeah, about to watch The Mandalorian. Now, you said you've seen both episodes already? When's the third one come out? That's a good question. The second one came out yesterday, though, so probably after a couple days. Why don't they just, like, let it all go out at once? Like, no. This isn't like television, right? <laughs> But no, you know, uh, there's so many subscription services, everybody's just like, you might as well just subscribe to TV. And screw all this stuff, because it's just as expensive. The TV? Well, no, all of these subscription services. What about them? You might as well just get TV. You wouldn't get the shows that are on here? Yes, we, that, yes, that's, yes, we know. But, the, 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 the idea that it's cheaper than TV is no longer true. That's true. Which is... Dumb. Yeah. I'll just watch public access TV, you know, we'll get one of those little HDMI adapters, you stick in the HDMI port and it get little antennas. Oh, yeah? Just get one of those. Hmm. I'll stick to this. I've actually been thinking about getting, getting a public access thing for my TV, but... I don't... I think I'd have to get one that goes to the, uh, the VGA port. The coaxial port. That's like the only port I have left, besides the USB port, I think. Mm -hmm. Anyways, 
Um, I don't know. I don't know when I'll talk to you guys again. No idea. But, uh, Gas Buzz, another thing. You're gonna get me copy copyright claims and I'm gonna beat you over the head. Disney is literally the one company you do not want to cross when it comes to copyright claims, and you are just poking the bear. I didn't do anything. Anyways, the, the Galaxy Buds. One last thing is, Lion's uh, Tech Tips review of them was true. The call quality is not as good as, you know, probably just talking to them on the phone. So, there's that. But, you know, it doesn't bother me because he's still... Uh, Rondo over here still sounded fine to me, so whatever. And was I still just, you know, was I fine? You were. You could understand me other than that one little anomaly when I pulled the one out of my ear? Yeah. Yeah, okay. See, they're still fine. Okay? It's just, Linus is just a little pain in the butt. Anyways, uh, yeah, enough of that. See ya. What up, boomers? Dr. Sheep here. It is currently Saturday night. I gotta show you something. This giant thing of saran wrap. Now you're probably wondering, what do I need a giant thing of saran wrap? And it's there in the vlog, so I'm just now showing this video. Well, I just got it today. From work. And, basically, my family has a tradition of every Christmas, for the past oh, three or four years now, we make a giant saran wrap ball. And there's goodies inside of it, and you pass it around, and people try and, you know, make it deeper into the saran wrap ball. While somebody else rolls a dice, and if they hit doubles, it's their turn. Well, they left me in charge of it this year, or they did last year, and I'm still going to do it this year. And so, being as to where I work, I got this hell of a good deal. Great deal. And I'm like, perfect. So now I'm just plotting, and I have all kinds of ideas for this saran wrap ball. Fortunately, this is already going to be out by the time... Uh, before Christmas, so I can't say what I'm all going to do, but uh, it's going to be interesting. I'm not going to play, just because if I want the goodies side of it, I'll just go get the goodies myself. I'm not going to, you know, try and get them. And my freaking roommate's watching Captain Marvel, which is loud as hell. Uh, I was going to record a video today, not this one, different video for something else, but uh, don't know if that's possible. Anyways, um, that's everything for this vlog. It's the end of it. So yeah, Chick-fil-A was better. Sorry, this vlog seemed kind of, uh, just wasn't what it normally is. It, uh, I've just been too busy. I too busy, kind of kept forgetting, preoccupied. Leave a comment down below if you want to see another one vlog, like six or something. I don't know what we'll do for the Christmas vacation, maybe. Yeah, yeah, Christmas vacation. And I'll try and find some fun things to do. Anyways, uh, in the meantime, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. New videos every other Friday, 2 p.m. Central Time. Uh, comment down below vlog six if you made it this far. And. Good night. Subs for trees. Subs for trees. Subs for trees. Subs for trees. Oh, you're still here? I thought I told you to go home. Oh, you want more? I'm flattered. Check out the playlist. If you want exclusive content, check out my Instagram, Dr. Underscore Sheep Underscore YouTube. That's all lowercase. If you want to help the earth, subscribe. When I reach 100 subscribers, I'm going to plant 10 trees. If you feel that's too small, then check out my channel tree where I lay out even bigger goals. Finally, stick around for the next 20 seconds to give me that sweet watch time. Bye.